Today, we are going to talk about importing data into Creatio. We can import large amounts of data using import tool that helps us import client databases, communication details, product catalogs, or import into any other object that we have in the system. Before importing into Creatio, make sure that you have your access rights configured specifically access permissions to those sections and objects into which you are importing. Paying attention to default record permissions, which are assigned at the moment when a new record is created. To learn more about configuring access permissions, go to User and Role Management module in Creatio Administration and Configuration. Excel data import is done in four easy steps. Prepare the file, run import wizard, Add imported file and specify columns for mapping. Run the import process. Let's take a look at this process while importing customer database into Creatio. To start, we will prepare a file for import. You don't need to use a specific template to import your existing database into Creatio. To successfully upload data, make sure the file meets the following criteria. The file is in XLS X format the file is not damaged, the file does not contain any active hyperlinks, disable all active hyperlinks in the file before importing, the file contains the correct column captions and data, having the column headings in the imported file match the field names in Creatio will save you time on column mapping during import. The file contains no additional data except for the column titles in the first row, the file contains no more than approximately 50,000 rows. The exact limit for the number of rows in the imported file is not fixed and may change depending on the number of columns and information volume specified as column values. Also, make sure that the cell formats in the file correspond to the columns in Creatio. For example, for the name column, specify text, and if you have any data columns, specify the date format. The complete list of recommendations is available in the articles in this module. In today's demonstration, I will be adding accounts as an example of my client database. In this spreadsheet, you can see a very simple document that contains a couple of columns, name, industry segment, category, phone, email, and site and a couple of rows with client data. As you can see, some information is filled out, some is missing, and this will be the file that we will use for our example. Now, let's go into Import Wizard. Import Wizard can be accessed from the section in which you want to import or from System Designer, Import and Integration, Data Import. The later offers an advantage since you will be able to import data into any system object. To do that, drag and drop the file or click select file and then click on other to select the object in the system into which you want to import. Since we are importing a list into accounts, I will just go into account section and under actions, we'll select data import. In this case, the object is already pre-selected. Let's drag and drop our file into the import wizard. The system checks file format and size according to system requirements. Click next and our next step is to map the columns. If the column name in the file matches the column name in the system, then the system will automatically detect and will match those columns. For example, our column's name and category match with the columns in the system. And if our file contains columns that are labeled differently, then we can manually specify the columns in the system object. Besides adding records into the selected object, Import Wizard can add data into the connected object. 
In our case, phone and email are details used in accounts section. I can import contact information into the columns of the accounts object or if I need to import multiple emails and phone numbers, I can import them into the detail object. And that will allow me to import multiple contact options per each account record. So we will do that. We will add our phone, email and site into our detail object. When importing data into the database, it is important to understand the object model where each record is stored, logic of each section and detail, what processes are triggered when a new record is added. Another thing to pay attention to is lookup columns used in an object. In our case, industry and category are lookup columns. The system compares the value in the file and in the lookup object. Be aware that lookup values not found in Creatio will be added automatically. When checking the values, the opening and closing spaces and letter case are not taken into account, while special characters are important. To avoid duplicates in the Creatio lookups, check the lookup values in the imported file. When we are ready to proceed, we will be taken to the next step, which will ask us to configure duplicate rules. Deduplication can be done using the columns in the main object that we are importing to. Since phone, email and site information was imported into the detail object, we cannot use them to look for duplicates during import. So in my case, only I will use the duplication using the name column. What will the system do in our case when only name column is selected for deduplication? If there are multiple records in the file that have the same name, the system will only import the first one and will not create any additional records. If there is already an existing record with the same name as in the file, then the system will update the record. Data from the file has higher priority during the import, so the system will update all columns that are imported based on the data provided in the file. If the file contains empty values for imported columns, the corresponding field values in creation will not be deleted. You can use import wizard to do mass update of your database. And let's start our import. We can close the page since the system can run this process in the background. And let's go ahead and do that. If we need to stop this process, we can do that from the process log, which is located in the system designer process log. Our import was pretty fast. As you can see, it has been completed already. If you are importing large sets of data, then the process will take some time to complete. And if you need to, you can terminate it from the process log. Once the import has been completed, as in our case, we can see that we have a notification in our communication panel alerting us about that. Here we have an option to check out records that were imported by clicking on the open import record link. We will see the list of new account records or any record that was updated during the import process. A tag will be added to these records that will say data import plus the date of our import. This tag will be available to other users as well. And we can use this tag later to filter our records. Information regarding data import errors and unsuccessful attempts can be found in lookup Excel import log. To find this log, go to system designer, system setup, lookups, and search for Excel import log. In our case, data import was successful and no errors were registered. So the log is empty.